Our project is advanced uh, a lot and if you clone it and see uh, its structure it has uh, pretty significant changes. Uh, the most important uh, things we implemented, <coughs> I apologize, I have some kind of cold so it may be some interruptions. You probably heard that React and Flux coming together so it's like bind React Flux and uh, Honestly, after a long time of Angular development, I first of all take a look on the flags. I read everything and uh, honestly, I didn't get anything, just completely. And uh, I did it the second time and it was the same effect. But on the third time, I understood everything and uh, realized that this is the best approach uh, for uh, uh, treating data flow inside application and uh, I don't want to make this mistake here and I don't want even to show you theory to show the schema whereas uh, unidirectional da data flow come action dispatcher store and view I will start from the example so it is probably uh, very familiar for you that uh, this is some kind of two-way data binding and if we take a look at the code um, it is article form uh, this is component article form uh, it has value and value is bound directly uh, to its states it has one property on state title and uh, on change so any change this input element will go through will execute this function update and uh, this bind attachment uh, it is here because in ES6 our event in this case update happens in event pool general and in order we can bind it to object itself in this case in article form uh, we need to add in the end binding and uh, this is because we decided to go with ES6 but uh, in my opinion it's worthwhile and so just very easy we have uh, uh, on change function and it change state and state is uh, bind to value and everything update it's like angular angular 101 what problems it has? First of all, if we decide, suppose we have article form and uh, everything in React and uh, actually in Angular, I can say the similar feature that everything is component or everything is, is directing. And suppose that this component will have children and uh, that component may have another children and uh, if you want this is very uh, typical when you have a button and uh, I had situation when I have a form a directive with form and this form has uh, some kind of uh, uh, form group and uh, this form group has button and in order to attach to this button method in angular you can do it I guess in four ways it's not convenient first because if it is two ways of hierarchy I would probably require a controller of grandparent directive or I if it's more I would probably uh, and broadcast an event and uh, and I can do it through a uh, root scope or just a scope inheritance or I can pass this value over this directive hierarchy and uh, especially with broadcasting or emitting event if you can some kind of forget that you change it over event debugging can be a nightmare well I I've been with situation when change happens and you don't know why it is happening and, and after like couple of hours debugging you find this event 
then you can see that uh, some donkey emitted this event and it changed the value. Well, you see a JIT who blame, and uh, unfortunately, and it's very weird, this donkey has your email and you don't remember completely. But uh, I've been there, so it's not uh, a good uh, situation to be in. This is first problem. The second problem, if you have this anarchy, so everybody can change er everything, this is a recipe to the problem that I described. It. In addition, like I said, it's not very convenient to pass action to the button and, and so forth. And the React came up with this uh, approach flux. And it's better to also uh, show it an example. So, okay, I guess it's flux one. And this is the same. Uh, this is the same component, and if you can see on hierarchy, uh, we have now article form, and this article form has component form group. And if I take a look on code, this component article form has form group component. What it does, it has child of input element and uh, everything that it does it uh, add this border and this is made up example I would like to show the advantage the advantages of flux uh, that uh, like I said we have now uh, this two-way hierarchy and um, element and uh, here in input element I have this component. Instead of binding directly to my own state, I do it where a store, this is heart of your application where data is uh, stored. And any change to data can be done only inside store. A store has input and output and input it is action who can apply to the store with a request to change data. And on the output inside a store, you have event listeners that are triggered by store, and this event listeners will change our view. I would say this is like intermediate chain between your view and uh, your actions that are uh, trigger it in order to change this data. We can see on change I run this function and uh, uh, the only this function does it is execute our actions and our actions like a disclaimer it's not a pure flux written by myself but I did it and uh, that also uh, gave a lot of understanding of uh, Flux components. So if you use any implementation, I would suggest that you implement it yourself in order to completely understand uh, this approach. But uh, for the um, sake of time, I would uh, uh, use immediately Alt implementation of Flux uh, design pattern. We have actions, everything starts from actions, and uh, if we open actions, and, and actions it is just a, a constant, a string constant, and these actions uh, alt is binding uh, to store. So if we go to article store, uh, you can see that another advantage of alt. I don't need a lot of here. Another advantage of uh, alt that it used decorator decoration in order to bind actions to to store function that change uh, its state. So you can see that in store everything. This is heart of application. This is uh, data. Uh, this is holy grail of your application and it is data and uh, by binding actions to function 
you can change your state, your date. And uh, this is happens in this case. And uh, because Alt in this case bind action with event, and uh, because our element, our article, its input element, when it generate uh, a change, it also pass this event, uh, event object, and this is just a convenient way to get a target value of in input element. And uh, in site store, we run this function, and uh, uh, this is very simple function. What it does, it just change our state. And uh, uh, another disclaimer that you shouldn't change your state directly. So instead of never, never do like this. This state uh, is equal to title. Title event and value. So, despite the fact that it will work, it will uh, break uh, the reason to use React because your update wouldn't happen in the best time. So, always use this set state, and React will manage update by himself by choosing the best time for it and uh, we change our function then when i will come and uh, uh, now we have this uh, hierarchy of element and uh, my action is is triggered inside input element but our input element doesn't need to uh, care about data about displaying data by itself because uh, data uh, it is displayed in that article form and uh, if we go to article form i connect this element to store and uh, when you connect element uh, to the store this is alt specific implementation once you uh, connect to store with decoration you have to use these two static methods. First of all, get stores, and it is an array because element uh, can listen to, can be connected to several stores. And the second one is uh, get props from stores. You can, for example, if you need only one uh, state from a stores, uh, instead of run and get state method you can write specific method but in this case it's very simple store and it's very simple action we just get the whole state and once you connect it you get all your data on props so when i will when i would like to display my data i run here this props title and uh, this title is coming through this flux pattern and come in and I can display it inside view. Uh, so this is how everything works and the advantage what I would like also to show you that you can see that in addition to showing this data inside our main component I also show it in inside menu. In Angular I would change this with, with broadcasting and event. And uh, here it's very easy because uh, if I go to component assigned, I just connect it to store and then I show it in the same way. But so it's completely separate your actions and your view. And in my opinion, it's a much better approach than MVC. And I hate to compare it to Angular, but I, I do it not because to some some kind of saying bad things about Angular, but this is because I, I came from that development after two years, so everything that, that I know it's actually uh, Angular. But uh, uh, the more you working with React, the more you understand that uh, in my opinion, this is 
worthwhile to learn and develop your application with. And uh, uh, finally, uh, we decided to uh, use Firebase, and uh, I will tell, I will talk about it more in the next tutorial. I will explain with Relay, but uh, Relay, unfortunately, and all that convenience comes with a price. So immediately, at least my my simple application, its size increased by 700 kilobytes. I will talk more about it in the next tutorial and all everything that I would like to show that our current application with alt, with uh, all assets, with uh, skeleton, no, it's not true. Let me rebuild it. Ah, because I'm I'm in another I'm in another in another branch. But if I check out master and uh, inside master, I, uh, we have implemented a using a fetching data from uh, from Firebase. And if I build it, it. So it would be 500 kilobytes, and in my opinion, this is the best. This is best, uh, and this is worth uh, while to uh, be in production. It not much. Uh -oh. uh, it's even less, but probably, probably it, it lacks. It lacks something. So it was. Uh, 522 initial load and uh, with the possibility to decrease it if we uh, can manage data on the first page not with the firebase then with lazy loading and we will talk about also lazy loading about chunk in our next tutorial so see you then thank you